Hey everyone, Daniel from BlogHoarder.com here. Today's tutorial, we're just going to go over characters, health, and damage. So let's get into it. First thing I'm going to do is create something to cause damage. So we're going to put spikes in here. The next thing we're going to do is get something for your health. So I'm going to put a heart. Okay, so now I'm going to go into the character. And this is the character we created with the in the movement tutorial. So all his movement is still here. Uh, what we're going to do is just add um, his health. So the very first thing I'm going to do is just add a couple collisions. One for the spikes, one for the hearts. Okay, then we're going to need some numbers. So when you hit a spike, you're going to get minus one to your health. And when you hit a heart, you're going to get plus one to your health. And this will be, this number here will be your health. Uh, let's, we'll start with three health. Start it with whatever you want. Um, and then plus actually. Okay, then from here we need a label, a filter, and then a next level. And an always, actually, an always trigger. Okay. So we'll always be getting this number into the value of the label. Um, and then if this health goes less than one, which would be zero, uh, hit go from the pass into the go of the next level and choose well choose whatever you want but if you die you should probably restart your current level so I'll go with that okay so right now we should when I go to play we should see displaying the value of three that will be your health in the top corner actually yeah let's make that a little clearer shall we grab another label a second label and we're gonna write health if you want and let's see this oops one second hmm, one moment let's go into the character for a second get his value here let's just see a zero for a second I can see it now so this will be his number for his health this health will always stay there but this number will be changing okay so we start with the three health and then hit these spikes it should go down to two yep hit him again goes to one and hit him again restart okay so that worked so go down to two now let's test the health works three four five but you don't want your health to just stay there you'll want it to be disappear when you use it once so for that we'll just go into the actual object the heart go into its behavior and a collision with the player will trigger this heart to um, destroy itself so components destroyer and that's all you have to do Okay, there we go. So here's the player's health and damage.
works like a charm. Hit it three times, restart. And let's just take a real quick look before we end this tutorial. That's what we did. So we created collisions for the spikes in the heart. We programmed the spikes to have a negative one to your health. We put a positive one to the hearts for your health. We started your health at three. We put an always into the get, so it's always displaying the value. And then we put in this filter with a level restart. And that is how you display your character's health and damage in Flow Lab. I hope you enjoyed. See you on the next one.